What I've noticed over the last couple of years, I'm getting quite a few call outs to wild dogs uh, attacking livestock and uh, they, uh, they all seem to be focused around these large forested areas uh, in, in the region and uh, the areas that I'm referring to is the uh, GNU between Mandoran and Dubbo, uh, you've got the Warrenbungal Range, you've got the uh, Piliga between Coonabarabra and Narrarai, and uh, then you've got the uh, Capitar Ranges and you've got uh, the country uh, out of Tambar Springs, east and west of Tambar Springs. Uh, the scrub country, uh, probably uh, I'd say it'd be uh, east of uh, Binaway. Uh, you've got uh, uh, the cooler, cooler tops and uh, down around Neil Rex country, there's wild dogs in that country down there, as well as uh, northwest of, uh, of Mindoran. And uh, my advice is if you're a landholder and you're watching this and you're uh, your country backs up under these large uh, scrub bills. My advice to you is to start monitoring for wild dog activity, and the places that you would monitor is uh, along your back boundary that uh, faces up to these uh, scrub bills. Uh, tracks and trails that uh, come out of these uh, scrub country, and uh, along creek lines, uh, particularly if they've got watering points along these uh, creek lines. And uh, I'll be looking for uh, wild dog tracks in those areas that I've just mentioned. Last year um, we had um, like a numerous sightings so yeah we've got wild dogs sort of between Cobra and um, Merigowan so there's a dog there that we, we're pretty keen to get. There's one sort of um, in that dapper area um, sort of west of Dunnydoo. Um, there are dogs here um, in this Coonabarabran area as well. They're pretty easy to identify they're probably three times the size of a fox track and uh, they are more round, like a fox track is more an elongated track but it's, it's much smaller than a dog track. Wild dog activity should be monitored year round, uh, should be all year round, uh, particularly after rain events, the dogs are uh, far more active on rain events, uh, they're coming through the country, resenting their country uh, after the, uh, the rains come through and wash their scent out and the, the time of year that, um, that I'd be most focusing on these areas would be in the autumn through to the winter, that's when there's uh, a fair bit of wild dog activity getting around, that's when your uh, wild dog bitches are uh, coming into season, they're not like a normal domestic bitch that comes in on a five month and seven month cycle twice a year, uh, they cycle once a year, they cycle around that uh, April, May period and can be as early as March and can go into uh, June, but when these uh, wild bitches are cycling that's when the dogs are really active and that's when the killing uh, mainly occurs. Uh, that spike usually occurs from March through to uh, around uh, July, August period when those dogs are really active. There's also another spike um, in uh, when they're killing livestock and that's uh, generally around October, November period and that's when the storms roll through and there's a lot of thunder and lightning around. It, uh, it just seems to uh, get those uh, dogs really active and they start to kill a bit of stock around those periods of time there.